Our next main topic is SDS polyacrylamide gel electrophoresis. And first of all, we will discuss its introduction. We, will, we already have discussed that separation of macromolecules on the basis of their electrophoretic mobility. This is uh, known as electrophoresis. This technique, uh, I mean, simple electrophoresis cannot be used to determine molecular weight of biological molecules because. Uh, the mobility of substance in the gel depends on two things, one on charge and other on size. So there is a need to denature the proteins or other complex molecules with some detergent like STS, which is sodium dodecyl sulfate, uh, so that they lose their uh, secondary, tertiary or quaternary structures and in this way they become lenient or they become linear. Uh, this method in which the proteins are denatured with the help of some uh, detergent like STS into linear structures and then we perform electrophoresis, this is called SDS page or sodium dodecyl sulfate polyacrylamide gel electrophoresis. This method is also called Lamley method uh, after the name uh, of its discoverer who first of all published a paper uh, using this method. A polypeptide chain binds with SDS in proportion to its relative molecular mass and this results in uh, fractionation by approximate size during the process of electrophoresis. Uh, native, uh, negative charges on SDS destroy most of the complex structure of proteins and that's why they become, they lose their secondary, uh, quaternary or tertiary structures. These molecules, uh, after getting negative charge, they are strongly attracted toward positive charge, I mean towards anode when electric current is applied. Polyacrylamide gels uh, restrain larger molecules from migrating fastly as compared with the smaller molecules. So, smaller molecules move faster as compared with the larger molecules. STS page is the most widely used anal analytical technique in biochemistry and molecular biology on the basis of its uh, uh, separation uh, which we already have discussed and in this way it is also possible to characterize uh, proteins uh, by employing different other methods.